Welcome to this lecture. Implement HCD backup and restore. Agenda, we will discuss about highly available cluster, HCD quorum. I give you the demo, how to backup and restore the HCD database. Highly available Kubernetes cluster. I have three master nodes in the diagram with multiple worker nodes. In between, I have a load balancer. The load balancer can be Nginx, FI, or your own load balancer in the corporate. In the master node one is the active. Look at the diagram. Cube controller and cube scheduler, the both are active. Node two and node three, controller and scheduler are in standby mode. If the master node one fails, two will become active with controller active and scheduler active. By having the type of mechanism, the master node has the high availability to deploy application and manage the environment. Remember, at a particular time, only one node is active. Upon failure, the second node will take over and the other one will become the backup. HCD quorum. HCD uses a distributed census algorithm called a raft. Raft is leader based. The leader handles all client requests which need cluster consensus. However, the client, that's the API server, does not need to know which node is the leader. The basis of algorithm is n by two plus one. If the HCD cluster has three nodes, so three by two, that is 1.5, plus one, 2.5 is the quorum. That's why Raft says quorum requires greater than 50% of the votes. Odd number of nodes increase the level of fault tolerance. In the case of having two HCD nodes, the chance of losing quorum increases, hence, Minimum three HCD nodes are mandatory to have high availability. Having two HCD node, if you put HCD into master node, I can say it like a master node, having two master node is worse than having one node. Always have three nodes, so the fault tolerance will work as per the raft algorithm. The quorum will have enough voting members to vote. HCD backup and restore demo. I have a single node cluster. HCD is running from master node. Therefore, one node is enough to show the demo. First I type cube cutter get pods minus a. I have some running pods. One of the pod is HCD k test node running for the last six minutes. This is the HCD database. Once I finish the backup and restore process, you will see the new HCD database running here. First, we have to install the HCD client. I use the apt method. HCD client install is complete. If I type HCD cutl, I can see all those options. Using this command, I'm going to back up the database 
it will store this snapshot in the temp folder. Backup is complete. This command will restore the database from the backup. It will create a new data directory, initial cluster variable, initial cluster token, and it points to TMP, the backup. The restore process is complete. Now I have to open this file, etcd ML file from etcd Kubernetes manifest and edit those data directory values and add the cluster token. Data directory. Let me delete the existing value. And paste the new value where live etcd from backup. I have to add the initial cluster token to the file. It is added. Initial cluster token, etcd cluster one. Then go all the way down and update the etcd data path in the mount path and also in the host path. Delete this value and add the new data directory. Do the same in the host path. Add the new value. Save the file and come out. It will create a new HCD pod in few seconds. Let me clear the screen. I am going to check for the new process ps minus ef grab etcd. Now I have two process. This is the old process and the new etcd database just created. You can see the timestamp difference. If I go into cube cutter, get parts minus a, you can see the etcd database just created 34 seconds ago. This is the whole backup restore process. Uh, good practice, keep the backup snapshot in a GitHub or in your storage. It's a very simple four-step uh, process. At the end of the course, you can download the PDF and you can practice those steps in your machine.